Ah, sorry, pause the people. Hmm. <laughs> Fit. Fit. <laughs> Shellantin, awesomeness, Shellantin, awesome, Shellantin, awesomeness, we're chilling with the sharp family, we're chilling with the sharp family. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm your girl Tanisha and this is Sheldon people. And together we're an awesome couple making things happen. Amen. Yes. So as you see the topic tonight is how to know if your partner is right for you. Woo! It's a big topic, guys. It's a big topic. But disclaimer as always, we are not professionals. We are not professionals, people. We're just speaking on our own life. Ex yes, our own experiences of yes. to know and what we Work. have learned. A lot of times, you know, people will go into relationships and that moment decide that yes everything is okay this person is the right person for me and they never took the time out to know the person well and then you know a couple of years down the road you know even in our experiences you realize that the person that you're with what are you just not compatible let's use that word and then you have to go and you know do a separation you know which is a lot of times difficult especially when there are kids involved so our aim tonight is to try and outline a few a few factors a few areas that if couples or persons who are dating took the time out to go over those pointers then it may have saved them from a terrible breakup yes most of the times we are we we know exactly what we want from a relationship and out of well maybe desperation we just get involved overlooking some of the qualities of the person um we know exactly what we want but we decide to settle for certain things are we lonely yeah, maybe because we're lonely. You don't have to. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> and then these things become a problem further down in the relationship. But once you know exactly what you want, the qualities that you want in the person, then it's best to just wait until you find someone that meets those criteria. Right, and as we said, guys, we are going to go into a few um, pointers tonight. I think we ten. Yeah, we have ten things that if you were to go over those, then it it would have probably saved you some heartbreak. Yes, we want to welcome all the new subscribers to our channel. We want to thanks for those who you know message us and say we're going on with great things. We thanks for the comments and those who like our video and share them. We thank you so much. We are. We appreciate the growth on our channel and just keep on telling others about us. Yes, yes. We yes. have so much to share with you guys. Amen. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. We, th we yes, appreciate guys, thanks, the support thanks for so subscribing, much. you know. And as you say, you know, leave a comment below. Leave a comment below. We like hearing from you guys. Oh, um, yes. So, we are now going to go into those uh, pointers, guys. The first one is, they don't hold you back. They are excited about your goals in life. Yes, guys. Um, you know, very important is that when you meet somebody and you guys start to talk, you know, if there's no interest in you, you know, your life, your goals, then, you know, something is wrong there. If you meet somebody, and all they're talking about is me, 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 me. They're not taking no time out. 
yeah. you hear about you, 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 you know? Wrong. Yes, yes, you know, so very important. But then I just meet in the first couple of weeks leading into months. If it's me, 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 no bother go no further. <laughs> or if you can fix it, fix it. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. The next point. So the next point we want to talk about tonight is they don't want to change you. They oh. accept you for you. They don't want to change you. Listen, people. <laughs> <laughs> we have been down the road. I know some of you have been down the road where it's two things. You're going to a relationship and you are trying to change a person. Or you're going to a relationship and the person is trying to change you. Red flag, people. Red flag, red flag. If you just meet somebody and try to change her, it's the wrong person for you. If you just meet somebody and them try to change her, it's the wrong person for you. Right. So, both of you should be at that juncture where both of you are on the same path, are accepting of each other, and is loving the qualities in each other, but not trying to change each other. Yeah, red flag. So if you see that happening, remember, we said that to you guys. you are you. You have to be you. You can't change you for someone else. You have to be yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I am me, okay? And I am me. Don't try I'm not going to change for you. No, oh, okay. Not that I'm at all. <laughs> Yeah, naturally, I think no people. <laughs> I had my natural hair before you. What? <laughs> yeah, me, me, I'm telling her I love the natural hair thing, and she doesn't so go thank on. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, she doesn't try. I go and grow it out, you know? I would like that. Yeah. That's the next one. So, the next point, guys, they fit into your life. What, what I mean by that? Yeah, people. So she fit in my life and me fit in her life. I'm not going to explain that one day. So when we met, I never come and create a disruption in a fear of life. And she never come and create a disruption in my life. We just meet and just blend, just smooth. Like, smooth. like a, a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, we just fit. Like, <laughs> you know, Madam Crash, look, the Crash is puzzle people. <laughs> fit. <laughs> fit. <laughs> Yeah, so we we fit. It is all like you know all along, you know, trying to fit and we fit. So there was no so well. major okay, disruption. Okay, I'm pull up. Right, we had to cut off piece, you know, change something, cut off with not nothing like that. We just blend it together, and you know that was because of our core beliefs. And we'll talk more about those things, some of it more in this video and some in other videos. So the next point is, they listen to you, they ask about your life, it's not only about them. Yes, people, very important. Um, when you go into a relationship, let it be about the other person. You know, just, just focus on them. Just focus on them. So if you're in something and you realize that um, a lot of times when you guys do something or having a conversation, if you feel that you're not being listened to, then red flag. You know, if somebody going to come and be, di be dictating things to you, then something is wrong there. You're not here to be a child to somebody. You're here to be a partner. So look out for those um, warning signs, guys. Okay, the next point is they are happy when you're happy. They encourage you when you are sad. I think it speaks for itself, guys. No yeah. explanation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am happy, you are happy. Uh, we're going to have down moments, and those are times when we need support from our partners. Yeah. So, um, yes, 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 yes. So, look out for that, you know. Is this person supportive? Is he or she there for you when you're going through rough times? Yeah. Very important. So the next point tonight is you're not afraid to disagree with each other. Uh, people, <laughs> we 
gone two and a half years in another relationship, yeah? And I think one of the hardest things for any relationships is when there are arguments. Because when arguments do come along, guys, our emotions come into play, our egos come into play. But uh, we don't have to disagree to argue. We sometimes disagree to show our side, like what we believe in. You probably believe in something different from me, and yeah yeah i think yeah i think you could call it respectful disagreement because <laughs> yeah sometimes you can disagree and you know people get um upset angry all kind of things but don't be afraid to stand your ground on a point right yeah it's important because um, we are two different persons right. so we're gonna have different um yeah views so i feel like so we'll let it may express how me feel right now to my partner, them now go like me and I'm gonna wanna left me. Well, if I say I saw <laughs> if I saw I saw three now grown on your face, we're not safe left, you know. But just be you. Don't be afraid to express about things that are affecting you, that are bothering you. You're an individual, you are a person, you are important. Okay? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Next point. The next point tonight is... You want to hear the next point? Run it. What is it, babes? You make a great team. Ah. <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> teamwork. Make the dream work. Yeah. Teamwork, people. Teamwork. 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 It's a relationship, and you may have heard it before in some other um, situations that sometimes it's like a business. And in any business, if you don't have teamwork, it's going to become chaotic. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, everything cannot be done by one person. And in a relationship, there's two persons. So both persons have to be working together. Yep. So from earlier on, you know, look out for that. Look out it for some for this situation where you guys can blend together and take on things as a team. Not you over here, so by yourself, I try to figure it out, and the other person has to watch him, watch him. You can do so much when you work together as a team and get things done. Yes, yes. You so achieve true. so much more. Yeah. So mm -hmm. teamwork, guys. We have what we reach now. So we're we're at the eight point no. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. What's the eight point? So this one now, they make you feel really good about yourself. Yes, I I I can attest to that, guys. Um, I'm in a relationship right now where she don't make me feel good about things, you know. Um, um yeah. In this relationship, we don't talk. We don't talk down to each other. We um, complement each other and stuff that each other takes on in a given day, in a given week, in a given month. You know, a lot of you know that I am involved in a couple of skills, and I tell you, whenever I, I I'm about to take on a new skill, I be a support. Sometimes I have to wonder. She has, it's like she said to me. I can do it even before even before I figure out that I can actually do it. She's actually, here. believe in him so much. I said, "Yes, babe, you can do it." I'm so excited for you and those stuff. It's like I just imagining him doing it and getting it done without even know that he have such skill. Even sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's too much. Can I say? Right. And then just that single belief of yeah. me believing in him, yeah, man. he just gave him the extra power to take on things. Yeah, everybody <laughs> had to when they pull up your, your face face in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know how oh, he would have fixed it back. And I said to him that, yes, you can do it. I believe in you so much. People. And trust me, he transformed it. People should trick me because I must say about 3 o'clock I got up with the night and I'm at 3 o'clock Because I didn't want to come in, yes man, you can do it But yeah, I did it 
accomplish it and I think that was the first thing that was the first thing I took on in our relationship we, and you know I was like whoa that woman has supported me man so yeah guys you're gonna see some signs in the beginning some of them gonna be good and some of them gonna be bad but take heed to them if it's good it's a kudos <laughs> and you continue if it's bad run <laughs> stop preparing for run don't waste oh the time God. yeah next point so the next point tonight is you must have similar core values amen people i think we should have either said this one first or i said this one last but you see core values core values you know what you believe in mm -hmm. what you believe your, your belief system you know if whether your belief system are not on par then you guys are gonna have a lot of challenges down the road so you must have similar beliefs whatever they be i would not gonna try and you know that's like for another um the video you know going into belief system but just ensure that you know your core values are the same you know you guys both stand for the same thing because remember you're gonna have kids and both of you will have to make decisions for and about those kids and if both of you don't share the same values then it's going to be chaotic there so core values for a relationship is vital very important okay so the last point we want to talk about is your partner should help you to be more successful people <laughs> that point <laughs> goes many ways yes yes let us express this point based off our experience success success in our situation means that there's a goal that i had initially when we just started the relationship and there was a goal that she had initially when she just started the relationship right. and both of us agreed and those goals and because we agreed on those goals we are very supportive of each, of each other. other in achieving those goals so we're not talking about the one where <laughs> you know the man send the woman go to school and she go to school and then you know she whatever 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 i know that's it's a big thing around her right now but we're just talking about things within the relationship that both of us initially agreed on and uh, we were just supportive of each other along those journeys we have had some a couple of those and we have a lot more you know oh yes yeah so this is our viewpoints guys 10 points that we feel that if both partners are what partners exhibit those qualities then the relationship can be a success you know we have had too many failed relationships i would say across the world and it's getting even worse because people don't spend the time to really um, dive into why are we getting together and what do we have in common that is going to make this thing called relationship worse so people need to spend more time on that before they get involved you know so that's all for tonight um close that point okay guys thank you so much for listening to us and we are happy to share this stuff with you we have learned a lot and we have so much more to share with you guys um you can share it with a friend or a family member and remember to leave a comment we like to read in your comments and uh, just stay sweet until then yeah, take good care guys, <laughs> you know, as usual. Peace out. Bye.